Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episode 206 of our One Piece watch today. The end, technically, of the entire Sky Island saga. We're capping off G8 today with the very last episode. I'm guessing we're going to see our escape from G8. The big heist has been a success. And next episode, we start a widescreen, which I'm very excited about. Though, don't get me wrong, the black bars are very classical feeling, very cozy. But dude, widescreen HD. I'm foaming at the mouth. And B, we, I believe, are starting the Saga Water 7, which a lot of you guys have uh, hyped up a little bit. Although I think there's like a small arc right before it that uh, is called like, the Foxy Pirates arc. So we have that to take care of for us. But again, I, I, I couldn't be happier to be done because like I said, widescreen, baby. We have some business to take care of today by finishing this out. Episode 206, let's run it. Also drop us up if you're new. <laughs> oh no. And he just <laughs> took his fishing rod out there. They got you good. <laughs> Bro, I want to see Jonathan the actual show, man. I know this is technically a filler. This man is goaded. Very well. Ooh. Ooh. Told him. Admiral Akainu? Should I know who that is? actually true wow that they need yeah, things to work on but they they have to escape so inherently it can't work out in his favor he's got the one big cannon bro he's got him dangling so even if he gets in trouble for not capturing them, he can still place some blame on the inspector. I mean, yeah, he'll still be punished, I'm guessing, but still. Just wait for 9 p.m. It's by the minute, by the second. Chopper's face, bro! We'll speed ahead out. Oh, wait, the raising masks. Like they're giving up. Yeah, dropping anchor. They want him to think they're giving up. Uh, He's got that one giant cannon. Is that something about a net? I, I wonder if it was like a metaphorical net or just one enormous net. Robin's the only one once again. Maybe Zoro. Actually, Nami too. That's like, huh, it's almost too easy. Everybody's starting to catch on. Are they, is that still the anchor? Yeah, I mean, if anything, Jonathan is one for the theatrics, dude. It's 9 p.m. The plan. I think they're dropping their anchor so they're not caught in whatever happens. Yeah, the fangs. It's either that giant cannon or a, I still stand by this physical net. What, what is it? Fish? Is it a large fish? Huge armor tied. Oh, that's why That's why no ships move in or out at exactly 9 p.m. It all draws back from the book that Robin read. There's no ships that leave at that time for a reason. He's fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why do you do my boy like that, Sanji? He didn't say anything like out of pocket. Yeah, they're, they're still fighting. I was like, yeah, the Sanji kind of deserved getting smacked. Luffy is like, I do not care. Let's leave. Bro, even Mary looked scared. I, that's my favorite part where they changed the facial features of Mary to match the situation. Look at this absolute Giga Chad. He is stopping the leak with his entire body. What? What? They're beached! Where's Luffy? He said he's drowning. Did he suck up a ton of water? No, the tides are so low. It's a giant hole in the hole. Hole hole. Look at Chopper's dumbass face, bro! <laughs> Save me! I can't with this child, bro! What uses to get across the land? Oh, they're just stuck. Wait, they keep them right there and then just put the cannon on them. Every cannon on them. Never mind. Damn, that's a sick shot, though. Why are we cutting to the dining hall? Is Jessica San gonna say goodbye? Wait, they're like worried about Sanji. That's so cute. Oh, he is too. 
But what can he do? None of them can do anything. We're gonna just try to impact Dial out of the, the shallow area. Oh, I like how he praises Mary. Mr. Raccoon Dog. Uh, everybody's coming to watch. It's the main event. It's all Jonathan now. Surely there's no way out. He said you can't fight regularly against him though. He should expect some some ace in the hole. He ain't going easy like that. Huh. That's so nice of him though, still. He's like, oh, you guys have bounties, but I'll make sure your crew's taken care of. Jonathan's such such a real one, man. He's the homie. I almost feel bad for the fact that they're gonna have to escape. I love how Skypia and Angel Island is still making an impact. Like the waiver, the impact dial. I mean, it's kind of them falling from there that got them into this situation in the first place, but still. Or, I mean, where even is the octopus balloon? Do they still have it? Where's Luffy? Oh, there he is. Damn octopus! <laughs> oh. He has it. He, he damn has it. So he has it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, what the f Luffy! Oh my god, why has it been there the whole time? Luffy pulled the deep! He's the deep! My captain! Oh, he just sees them all as evil. And then there's Chopper's face! <laughs> right, long nose. <laughs> Chopper's like long eyelashes. Doesn't want to have to hurt him. Jonathan plays by his own rules, though. They don't surrender. They don't surrender. He ain't gonna stand here all night. All the pieces are off the board. He still won't eat. He's very busy. Surely there's no chance of him escaping. Yeah, surely. I'm sorry, is he anticipating them making it out? They're all <laughs> around him. It is gonna hurt. Oh my gosh, you can't be serious. Okay, why do I feel like he's going to fire it the wrong way again? I would not be shocked. Back to the sky! Back to the sky! It's beautiful! Bruh, now like the mechanic doesn't sound as crazy, so they came from the sky. All the lights following them. Yeah, how are, what are you supposed to do about that? Inflate! Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, the flames! Like a hot air balloon! Let's go! <laughs> impact! Again, Usam, impact! Fly, you bastard! Fly! Mr. Octopus! Sacrifice your arm, Usopp! Go! You're gonna need a chiropractor after this one. Hey, they all work together. <laughs> they look crazed! Fly! Let's go! It's beautiful. Look at him go! Hmm, so you refuse to listen to me. He still thinks he has them. It must be caught alive. There's a part of him that doesn't want them to be caught, and he just can't admit it. I don't know why else he would act so calm, cool, and collected still when they're on the way out. Bro, what are you gonna snipe him? He's like picking Chopper up. Wait! Their shots are gonna collide in midair! Oh, Mr. Inspector, you could not get more unlucky. Oh, wait. Oh, or he's just gonna hit the base. Yeah, now it's actually his fault. Now it's genuinely his fault. Because all, all Jonathan has to do is be like, yeah, I had him. I, I had him right where I wanted him. <laughs> That's it. The horizon. They're over it. <sighs> Off to another adventure. The magical cook. <laughs> what a sick fortress, though. 
God dang, dude, all the cannons on the outside of that island really is, uh, what's it called? A hedgehog. They finally got away! Dude, I can't, man! Go after them! Come on, Drake! Oh. <laughs> Bro, Shepard is in rough shape. You shot our cannons with an RPG. Who is Admiral Akainu? Should I know? Well, oh, they're just name dropping. I don't kiss? Bro. He's just the worst. You let the straw hats escape. Achieved our primary goal. What, proving that this was needed? That this fortress needs to be here? Or that they all work hard to get, get the job done? Oh, that's so wholesome. Yeah, they all do work together. And the, the cooks, too. Huh. Honestly, all of the Marines that we met here are very nice. They're all like kind of like a little fire underneath them. Aww. Aww. He's, he's going down either way. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Dude, Jonathan the goat, actually. Well, they're gonna have to lose the octopus eventually. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we gotta go get some upgrades for Mary, like promise. And there we have it, the end of G8, the end of the Sky Island saga. And what a, what a nice note to end it off on. I knew Jonathan wanted them to escape all along, even if he still played it in his head like, oh yeah, they're they're done for. Like, I got him now. It, it was all part of his plan all along to show that this, this fortress was necessary and that he can bring these men together to achieve something to an extent. Yeah, maybe the Straw Hats got away. That's one pirate crew, but it needs to be here because what about the next that comes along? And especially since they haven't had a ton of action to especially in the, in the recent past, they need more experience like this to kind of keep growing as a, in a collective. But I think it's just all in all, I liked G8 for the sole fact based on the design of the base. It was very unique, very kind of, I don't, I don't I kind of cozy. I felt this arc was cozy because it's filler. You know, nothing outstanding is going to happen. Nobody's going to die. But at the same time, you get to see more of this world fleshed out and more characters that, while well, you won't see them in the future, most likely, still have a place in the world that you can think back to. I don't know. I feel like if you're, if you're going to be a part of something like one piece a journey of, of a thousand plus episodes there's gonna be like little things here and there that you won't always go back to and touch back on especially considering it's a filler art but it just gives you more of an emotional connection and emotional bond to this world that oda's created but guys that has been it for episode 206 of our one piece watch through i'll see you guys next time for 207 208 very excited to start the next saga and i hope you guys are too if you need the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace